All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the effect of a vinyl record slowing down in a song. It's pretty simple to do, so just go ahead and follow along, and I'm sure you'll find some use for it at some point. First thing you're going to want to do is, you know, have your song or your clip on your first audio track here, and you're going to want to create a second audio track. And this one is going to be take the input from your first audio track. So in this case, I've taken it down and grab the audio one, which is this track here. So now when I play this, you're going to see that it also comes up in volume here. Just like so. Okay, so you also want to arm the, the track here just by clicking on this. And you're pretty much going to be set to go. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do with your clip is you're going to want to double click on this and then come down to your properties. In your properties, you're going to be in your sample section. And you're going to want to switch this here over to re-pitch. That means when the tempo slows down, it slows down the pitch or it lowers the pitch, just like you would with uh, regular turntables. The next thing you're going to want to do is come to your master. And it might look like this. So go ahead and open it up. And then you're going to want to find your song tempo under the mixer section. And this is going to be set by default to whatever this is up here. So in this case, we're at 127 BPM ish. So I'm just going to make an effect. So for four bars, it's going to slow down. And I'm going to record that. So I'm just double clicking to make my little elbows. And I'm bringing the, the very end to uh, 20 BPM, really slow. And then what I'm going to do is obviously preview it, make sure I, I like what it's doing. OK, cool. So now I'll just hit record. Now remember, make sure this is armed over here. And then hit play. And we're going to go ahead and record it. OK, cool. So we just recorded that. Next step I'm going to take here is I'm going to double click on this audio to bring up the properties. I'm going to turn the warping off because we want this to sound exactly as it was when we recorded it. And then I'm going to take the tempo, double click here. And as you can see, that lengthens this because it plays for a longer period of time. And then I can put it to an exact certain tempo. And in this case, it ends pretty much right on eight bars. So I can pretty much cut that. And if I'm working in a song, even though the tempo is changing in this section, I don't have to, to worry about the rest of the song. I'll just make it an even bar. And let me go ahead and turn this off and turn off my armed track. And now I can just go ahead and play this back. Just like so. And that's how you do that. So I hope you find some use for it. Enjoy.